going on? How you guys doing? Deck Deck here right now. We are back with another video. This is an update video on Daredevil Born Again and the Return of the Cast. And there's new people coming out as well. So let's dive right into this, shall we? Alright, so there's still no new... Okay, there is news about Jessica Jones, uh, Luke Cage, and the Punisher. But no news about the Iron Fist. I've been deep diving into research. I'm not sure if they're going to replace Danny Rand or not, or the Iron Fist, or do a re reboot. I'm not entirely sure. I've been trying to talk to my sources, and even they can't come up with anything. Canagrass can't come up with anything, because he's remaining on the DC and stuff. He's not really talking about Marvel that much. So I'm going to have to do this myself. So they do have a plot to a little bit. They're doing it from the comic books. Now, if I'm going to be talking about that, I could have watched my words, watch my mouth, what I say about this because, well, let's just say that I don't want to get in trouble by anything like that. Now, it will be, Daredevil Born Again will be expected to be released in 2025 through exact premiere is not confirmed date. My best guess is that if it's released early 2025, it will be before ever spring. I think it'll be like gen. No, it has to be like February because right now, well, it was first announced that uh, 2024 was going to be its debut, meaning it was going to be released like this year, basically. But due to the writer's strike, um, they literally said that the release dates has also been pushed back. Once scroll down, Born Again will consist on 18 episodes, five more than each season of Netflix Daredevil ran. Now, this what uh, this is my theory what I think about Echo. If you guys haven't seen Echo, let me give you, ask you guys a question. For Echo, was it terrible or terrible? You guys tell me. Okay, anyways, the reason why they release all episodes of Echo because they're supposed to release one, two, three, four, five episodes a week for Echo, the TV series and stuff. But they didn't do that. Reason why they didn't do that is because someone there knew that it was going to be like terrible and awful. So they just flattened out and threw it at us like a pancake in our face. They thought that it was going to be good, but it was dried up content basically. We didn't, um,. I don't think anyone actually enjoyed and praising them, bowing down to them, saying that, yeah, this is so epic. We love your show, which they don't. They just want them for clout and stuff. And do you even know what the main actress of that show said? She's a Marvel stands for M. She Universe. M. She Universe, really. Jessica, you were the main one of the main villains in Hawkeye. You had a huge debut. And then you had your own TV show, which was only five episodes. You're over eager. You have the ego and the autisty. You have the audacity to say to everyone that it's a she universe, basically. You've lost all sense of mentality. Anyone could have played your role. You didn't say anything. All you're doing was just sign language. Yeah, I just sign language my name. Yeah, I could do that. The whole TV show was basically subtitles and sign language. I was like, what am I watching and stuff? Seriously. Yeah, one prosthetic leg. You upgraded the prosthetic leg to make it look like something like James Bond movie. You didn't really use it that much. Why? Why didn't you really use it? Daredevil is blind. He uses that factor and basically his daily life and stuff. And in his fighting as well. You didn't. The star of Echo didn't. That's what really faced me and pissed me off. Now, if she was talking about the DCU, if she would say something about the DCU, I will feel very at odds about that strongly. Anyways, I digress. I need to keep on staying on topic. 
Okay, so uh, it premieres 2025. Date holds Daredevil Born Again. This is like premiere 10 years after the original Daredevil was dropped for the first season on Netflix, which is insane. Now, they're going to take a page out of Zack Snyder's book. Yes, um, for Daredevil Devil Born Again, this is the comic book story that they're going to go off of. And they do have, have it briefly in there. Okay, so published in 1986, it consists Daredevil issues number 227 and 233. Uh, that explains why it has 18 episodes, which I do appreciate. It's a six-part finale to Frank Miller's uh, defined run on the title. As well as that. Now, here is basically... The plots, kind of like for, I guess you could say, uh, the comic book and the story, what we're about to be watching. So, Karen Page, Max girlfriend, sells his secret identity for a fix. Might have to bleep that word out. Okay, so basically, Karen Page is a drug addict, I guess you could say. In the Netflix series, she was not a drug addict. But let's keep on reading. The knowledge makes its uh, knowledge makes its way up to Daredevil's nemesis, Wilson Fitz, aka the Kingpin of Crime, who uses it to ruin Matt's life. He frames him for paying off a witness, leaving him disbarred. Oh my goodness! If you're a lawyer and you get disbarred, oh, Laura Lance got disbarred in Arrow. I think it was like in. Was it in season two or season three? I think it was season two. She was only disbarred because she was an alcoholic and she stole some of her father's pills and stuff. Anyways, other than that, I digress. And penniless and bombs Matt's apartment. Okay, now that's a little over excessive on Kingpin's hand. Matt spent some time as a homeless vagrant, kind of like. Uh, Dana Rand did a little bit in the first season. Reuniting with and forgiving Karen Page. Meeting a nun named Maggie. Maggie was his actual real mother, if you guys didn't know. And it even says, uh, who may be his biological mother. It is his biological mother. She left him with, uh, basically, I don't think she was even married to Matt Murdock's father at all. I don't think she was. Uh, they had a thing. She got pregnant. She couldn't take care of the kid. So she went back to the church and stuff. And she left, uh, I guess, uh, the baby uh, along with, well, I can't believe I forgot uh, Matt's uh, father's name. But yeah, mercenary. Fist hires a mercenary nuke. To destroy Hell's Kitchen. Okay, now he's gone way too far out of his wits. Matt suits up again as Jared Born Again. Hence, uh, I don't think the TV series will be adapting to the storyline because season 3's Netflix Jared of Ari basically beats of its Kingpin secret identity drifter depends. So, I get the concept of it, but. I guess they're gonna have Bullseye back into it again. If you guys don't know who Bullseye is, rewatch season three and you'll find out who Bullseye really is. Okay, so what I want to read this is um, something. I can't believe it. Whether or not Born Again will adapt the Mayor Fist, I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. In the end of Echo indicates that Kingpin will be running for mayor of New York. I called it, I called it in my Echo review video. I said if you watch towards any, if you skip the credits, you'll see that Fisk Wilson Fisk is like, I'm gonna run for mayor of this city. Yes, he's gonna run for mayor. I knew it. Oh, knew I was close to do it. Okay, I'm geeking out here. Alright, so he's going to be running for mayor. He's going to be probably having a lot of cops and lawyers in his uh, pocket, basically. He's going to be running the city and stuff. Alright, now, 
they got the perfect showrunners for the show, what they're going to do, um, which is, I can appreciate that because um, they know exactly what to put out for us, what we're going to be expecting. If you And for some of the returning cast, I will be digging to that in a moment to notice. Uh, first off, let's go down here. Now, as for Karen Page, this is what I was thinking of for Karen Page. Uh, I thought Karen Page, she'll only be a cameo appearance, I suppose, in Daredevil. That's my best guess. Uh, Foggy Nelson, you know, he won't be in it. Now, let me tell you this. They said that she won't be in Daredevil. No, she won't be in Daredevil. It did not say anything about the Punisher. So she'll be in the Punisher. She has to be in the Punisher. She'll see Frank again. I'm pretty sure of that. Uh, so, sadly, yes, they're not returning. Um, I guess you could say Deborah and Wool and um, Foggy. Yeah, they're not returning back to it. It sucks, but hey, that's what we get right there. John Bartnell's come back, obviously, yes. Guess who else is coming back? Vanessa Fitz! Wilton Fisk, his wife. And apparently, they had a son together. And the son will be playing a huge role um, with inside of it. Uh, Born Again and Vanessa King, Ben's Queen. Now, the son, his name is... Richard Fitz, so he'll be playing the role as Richard Fitz, which is interesting. And so he has, anyways. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys are new, subscribe to the channel as always. And yes, of course, I'll see you all in the next one.